Alright guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a Pinterest inspired no bake Halloween baking. I hope you guys enjoy the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video and also check out my new website that I just created last week. It came out and I am so excited about it. And also don't forget to check out my latest video that will be right here. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So this is the first thing that I am baking, which is kind of like a Halloween themed puppy corn, or puppy corn, puppy chow. And all you need for this is peanut, honey, peanut butter, candy melts, sprinkles, sugar, salt, popcorn, pretzels, butter, candy corn, and some Reese's peanut butter pieces. <laughs> I'll also be linking down all my recipes that I got off of Pinterest. But the first thing you want to do is add your popcorn for this recipe. Then once you're done adding the popcorn to the bowl, all you want to do is add your pretzels to the bowl. Then once you add your pretzels to the bowl, you just want to add your Reese's Pieces. And then once you add your Reese's Pieces, all you want to do is add your candy corn. And then you can add in your pretzels, your sprinkles, and everything else. And then once you're done, you just want to mix them all together so you can add other stuff in it. Once you're done mixing all your dry ingredients, you want to put in a separate microwavable safe bowl, some honey, some peanut butter, and then once you're done adding in all your peanut butter, you just want to add in the salt. And then once you're done, I just kind of like guesstimated the salt too, but once you're done adding in the salt, you just want to add, also I forgot to put the butter before, but I put it in once I put it into the microwave, but I forgot to record it. But after that, you just add your sugar, then you want to put it in the microwave along with your candy melt for about four minutes. Once you're done, take it out of the microwave and then you can add in both the caramelized peanut butter sauce. Just add it on top of the puppy chow and then you can mix it all together. Then once you're done mixing the peanut butter, all you want to do is just add mix the candy melt. And I'm really not good at like melting candy melt. So if you're really good at it, you want to make it more liquidy, but for some reason, I always end up burning my candy melt. So I just made it to the point where I knew I could make it, and then I added it in and then mixed it into the bowl. So then I just added some more sprinkles, candy corn, and peanuts into my mixture, and then I just mixed it up, and then here's the final product. It actually looks like pretty good, and it smelled just like baked, freshly baked cookies. Like everybody came down and was like, where are the cookies? So the next thing I made is like apple vampire teeth. So all you need are apples, some peanut butter, and then some vanilla yogurt coated raisins. So you first want to make sure you wash your apples, then once you do, you want to cut them in half, and then cut them in half again. Once you cut them in half, all you want to do is like cut out a little mouth. This is honestly not easy, maybe I was using the wrong type of knife or whatever, but hey, I'm showing you how these real DIYs actually go. <laughs> So like, I just put aside the parts that I didn't need, but um, honestly, it doesn't even matter how the mouth looks because you're gonna cover it up with peanut butter anyways, so yes. So as I said, you wanna fill the mouth with some peanut butter, and then once you're done with the peanut butter, all you wanna do is add the yogurt covered raisins as the vampire teeth. And then this is the final product, it's so cute and healthy. So next I made some Halloween themed dirt cups. So all you need for these is some pudding jello. I got these cute little decorative cups from Michaels. I got some punch straws, Oreos, and that's pretty much it. You can also purchase pudding that's already made, like the snack pack, but I decided to make my own pudding. So what I did was I boiled some water, I added in my pouch and my pudding, and then I chilled it or put it in the refrigerator for a little bit until it became pudding. So while I wait for it to become pudding, I decided to start making the little dirt out of the Oreos. So what I did was I just broke the Oreos in half and then I put one half of the cookie in the bowl and then I just smashed it until it became like it looked like dirt. And then to make like the little grass in the dirt, I got one green Sour Patch straw and then I just cut it into little pieces so I could put it in the bowl. So then once the pudding was ready, I put them in the cute little bowls. Right now they look kind of messy, but then I just added the dirt or the Oreos on top of the pudding. 
Then once I was done adding the dirt, I started adding some of the pumpkin candy corn things. I don't actually know what the real name is, but candy corn pumpkins on top of the dirt. Then I added the Sour Patch straws kind of wherever I wanted and then cleaned it up so it was presentable and this is the end result. It looks so cute and I love the little bowls that I put it in from Michael's. It's so cute. So the next thing I made was an eyeball Fanta float. All you need for this is an orange Fanta, a mason jar, some vanilla ice cream, a straw, and an eyeball. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your Fanta and you want to open it up, pour it into the cup. Once you're done adding in the soda, all you want to do is just add the ice cream on top of your soda. Once you're done with that, all you want to do is just add your eyeball and your straw and you are done. It is so cute and you can like use this at parties and whatever you would like. And you can use so many different drinks and you can make root beer floats, you can make Hawaiian punch mixed with Sprite, anything that you want and it's so cute and so yummy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you try out any of these recipes, let me know. I would love to see it and I would love to see how you guys create it. So also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to be you and be happy. And also, if you want to send me any mail, my P.O. box is linked down below in the description as well. Don't forget to be you and be happy. And I love you guys. Have a great day. Mwah.